Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a video all about your soul family. So this is gonna be your soul tribe, a genuine group of people who are really gonna support you. This could include your future partner as well, or a current partner, and this could also be a friend, however you want to associate yourself with them. So we're gonna see how you're gonna meet them and possibly who they are, whether it's gonna be male or female, zodiac signs, things like that. So please choose your group now. We have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group now and let's get started. So starting for group number one with a beautiful rough citrine. Hello group number one, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So for you guys, you chose the beautiful citrine. So this is a really beautiful crystal for happiness and abundance and really good for financial energy. So you guys may have already, I feel like some of you guys may even know who your soul family are already. Um, some of you guys, not so much. I feel like for a few of you, you may already know who these people are. They may be close friends, maybe your current partner, something like that. Um, but I do feel like there is some certain people who you already know. So we're gonna pick some more uh, animal cards and we're going to see uh, who is gonna be part of your soul family. So the main person, the main energies could be you or your person is the cheetah. So very lovely energy, very similar to citrine. This is a beautiful energy of global awareness I'm hearing. Global awareness, this person's very globally aware. They are really up for kind of talking about anything about the universe, uh, everything. They're somebody who is very much an open mind, Sagittarius, Aries or Pisces. Somebody who's just very, very open. So this could be you, this could be a certain person. I am sensing this is a friend, like a best friend, like a really close friend who you can rely on, okay? So let's see who else is gonna be part of this soul group. I'm picking up on two to three people. It's kind of like the main energy. I feel like you guys want a close knit group. I feel like you guys are gonna be water sign, fire sign group. Okay, do we want one more? There's something, I feel like I wanna do one more. Yeah, let's do one more. I feel like it might be, so okay, I feel like there's three of you and there's gonna be probably one more who's gonna come in a little bit later. Yeah. They're going to like lead of the way in some sort of element. So underneath the deck, we have the peacock in the reverse. So for you guys right now who's watching this video, I feel like to find your soul family is to focus on being seen and taking up space as an empath. Um, I feel like you're somebody who likes to keep it quite quiet. Some of you guys, you are quite outspoken. It's kind of like opposite energy. So I feel like if you're more outspoken, you're more kind of bold. I feel like it's actually going inwards to yourself. If you're more of an inwards person, I feel like it's saying for you to be bold, be open, do more things that you really enjoy because it's enjoying your life and that's gonna bring you towards your soul family. So I do feel like we have three people and there's one extra person here. So I am sensing this is kind of like a fire sign, water sign, air sign group. This may be a Scorpio as well. I always see the vulture as Scorpio. So I am picking up on um, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Pisces, something like that. Maybe Gemini as well, if I didn't already say Gemini. I feel like some of you guys, if you're in about your 20s, I feel like you're gonna meet uh, two other people and then you're gonna have one one extra person when you're in your late 30s. Obviously, that's obviously not for everyone because everyone's a different age here. But for those of you who are in your 20s, that's a specific message. For those of you who are any other age, I do feel like there's just gonna be someone coming in a little bit later. So, I feel like for you guys, there's definitely an element of one person leading the entire group. So I feel like there's gonna be one person who's the fire sign who's gonna kind of like bring, bring this group together. It may be you are very close with somebody and then you meet somebody else. It's kind of like two people and then you meet another person and then you meet another person later on. That's kind of how I'm feeling it. That's kind of, yes, yeah, that feels about right. So let's see what chakra you guys are working on and what your focus is and that what's gonna bring in your soul group. So what chakra are you guys working on? Oh, lovely, connecting to your spirituality. Grace, okay, let's get one more. So I feel like this group can be a very spiritual group, very open. Um, I do feel like one of you is gonna be, I'm hearing a novice. One of you is gonna be a beginner. So I do feel like you're gonna be all different ages. This does feel like quite a young group. So obviously if you are more in your 50s, then obviously just take it as it resonates. That's just for some of you. Um, but I do feel as if you guys are gonna find some sort of soul group. I'm actually feeling for some of you guys who may be pregnant, have young children, or are in your 50s onwards, I feel like you guys might meet your people for a certain group, like a baby group, maternity group. Um, and then for, for those of you who are about around 50, 
40 to 50 onwards. I see you guys kind of meeting through an actual group of some sort, like when you're interested in something like Tai Chi or um, literally anything to do with holistic, uh, spirituality, anything like that. It could even be just like a crystal group, like a group focused on crystals, something like that. Uh, that could be for some of you guys. Okay, so for those of you who are younger, I'm not picking up on how you guys are going to meet your, your people, so I'll have a look at that in just a second. So for those of you who are wanting to attract this soul group, these are your chakras that you're working on right now. So grace and oneness and unity, that makes so much sense being part of a soul tribe. So the grace of a higher power is with me and I move through life knowing this truth. I believe in a higher power, I know that this is within me and around me offering assistance and guidance. Oneness and unity, I accept the oneness of all life and I know that I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. So for you guys, I feel like you're, um, what your thing is right now that you're focusing on and learning is to trust the universe, trust that your path is, is, is there um, and trust that you are going to meet these people because I feel like you guys have lost a lot of trust. I feel that some of you guys are quite practical and you don't really trust in kind of divine timing or anything sometimes. So I feel like it's also um, learning to be part of a group. I feel like that's one thing you're actually learning to do. Maybe you're somebody who's quite independent. Um, you're also somebody who may have had independency issues, something like that. It just feels like you're learning to trust people. That's what I'm hearing. And it says here, I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others and I choose to see the love in and all around me. That's kind of allowing your heart chakra to open as well. Allow yourself to be confident with a group because maybe you've had trauma with groups or possibly bullying or... Um, even I'm hearing like actual abuse, um, something like that. So I feel like you're maybe working on that as um, a way to connect to your new group. So let's have a look at the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say about this sort of tribe that's coming in for you guys. Let's see. Okay. How is group number one going to meet their soul tribe? I'm hearing through hard work. <laughs> Sorry guys, and that's probably not what you want to hear. I'm just hearing through hard work. Yeah, you guys are really going for it at the moment. You guys are kind of leaving something behind that just isn't suiting you anymore. And it's just not feeling 100%. Okay, for a lot of you, it's going to be through work. It's going to be through something financial um, and financial gain. The emotional side of this is you releasing um, kind of any outdated beliefs around other people in terms of like your relationship with others, like having enough confidence to just be yourself and let yourself shine. The Ten of Wands in reverse is good. This is good. This is when you're going to be releasing any old burdens around trusting people because then you're going to meet somebody who's very, very, very much like you. So with the lovers here, this is giving me a sense of meeting a soul partner, like an actual like one-on-one -on -one relationship, and then that turns into a group. It could be that you meet your group first, and then you meet your partner, something like that. For some of you guys, it's going to be very, very close together, but for a lot of you, you are going to meet a partner before you meet your uh, soul group. So when you meet this partner, this could even be a current partner, it could be you becoming much closer with a current partner. If it's somebody you haven't met yet, I do feel like this person's going to really open your emotional self up and allow you to trust them. Because um, I do feel like you are struggling to trust, you are struggling to kind of um, allow this energy to, you know, support you. I feel like you feel like you have to do everything by yourself. And, sorry guys, just burped. Um, I do feel like you don't, you don't have to do it all on your own. You are supported, you are going to get support, there is support there for you. Um, it's just allowing that to come in and to... Yeah, just for allow you to accept it. Okay, let's get one more card. Beautiful. So you could be meeting people from abroad. Um, obviously, if you meet them in this time at the moment, it may be just online. And then you meet them through um, physically as well. Okay, so let's get one more prediction here. And let's see how you guys are going to meet your soul group. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, I love this. Okay, so we have the sun in Libra, 12th house. I really love this. Um, the, the Libra here is all about the seventh house. So with this energy, this is all about trusting yourself in relationships. And when we trust ourselves in relationships, anything is possible because at the end of the day, we are, we're in relationships all the time. Like relationships are partnerships, friendships, work, family. They're all what some type of relationship. And basically what makes them different is the level of kind of confidence, 
confidentiality but also of intimacy that's basically the difference and it's also how we're relating to them like what do we have in common with them um how long have we known them all those different things what i see for you guys is with the 12th house you guys are leaving an old self behind the 12th house is ruled by pisces pisces and libra normally get on quite well as well so the 12th house is all to do with endings spirituality karma so most likely you guys have had a lot of karma with your relationships you've basically been told that you're not good enough um, I'm getting massive throat chakra energy right now. My throat's absolutely killing me. So most likely it's you speaking up in a group. I feel like some of you guys may have been very shy in groups. You may be an introvert. You may have been picked on. You may have been bullied. Things like that. You may have been told that you're not good enough. All those things. So I feel like um, it's time for you to really branch out of that energy. And remember that you are beautiful. You are worthy of love. And you are worthy of a beautiful soul family. Whether it's two people, one person who really supports you. So we're going to get a couple more um, kind of charms here. Let's see what else wants to come out. So let's give this a little bit of a shuffle. Okay, I want to get a couple of star signs here. I just saw Aries pop out. <laughs> there we go. We have Aries. Let's go see what else we have. I'm going to try and zoom you in a little bit because I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing. Okay. There we go, Pisces, lovely. And Capricorn, lovely. So whenever I get Capricorn, it's mainly to do with work. Um, so kind of someone who's very determined, someone who is very uh, disciplined, something like that. Let's get a couple of letters as well. Whoops. Okay, we have F, I, O and G and then let's get a couple of letters or words sorry okay we have green heart yeah definitely you guys are really going to be opening your heart shark when you meet this person and truth <laughs> perfect so basically what you're preparing for right now is this these authentic connections so if you guys are feeling like there's a lot of truth being shown to you through the world through your external energy I do feel like you are learning to work with that because that's important. Like that's something that you're having to look at so you can be authentic, so you can open your heart, so you can be brave and be in this open heart space authentically to manifest these people. So I hope this resonates with you, lovely. Uh, thank you so much for being here and watching. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all that information is down below. I appreciate you so much. I really hope you're enjoying these daily videos to celebrate my two year anniversary of this channel. I'm very, very excited. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Namaste. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So for you guys, we had the clear court. So I do feel like for you guys, it's gonna be really clear who your, who your tribe are. Essentially, they're not gonna be hidden. They're not gonna have any toxic traits. It's, it's just gonna be clear, simple, easy. All right, so let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys. So we have the moth, beautiful. This is most likely your energy. That's what I'm picking up and it's your energy here. So I do feel like for you guys, you are feeling like you're in the dark at the moment. You're feeling like things just are really, really confusing, really, really complicated and that you just don't know where, what you're doing, where you're going. And it just feels like you are being led out of the darkness. Um, it feels like you have been in the dark for quite a long time. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are single as well um, because you've basically had things pull away from your life like over and over again. And things have been really, really difficult. Trying to reach that light has been quite hard. So if that's been happening for you guys, I do, I am feeling, I am feeling that intense heaviness and I feel for you guys and I'm sending out my love to you, okay? So for you guys, I do feel like your most important soul tribe is actually gonna be your partner. I'm feeling uh, your soul partner. So if you guys are single, that's perfect. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. If you guys are already in a relationship, your soul partner, who you are with right now, and if you're really, really happy with them, that is gonna be part of your soul tribe. It's gonna be the main person, I feel. Okay, so I do feel like this is going to be a really close-knit group. I am sensing another person maybe coming in a little bit later. So let's see, let's get one more. I feel like it's going to be an older person who's going to like make sure everyone's sorted, like the mother or the father of the group kind of thing. Okay. All right, we have the elephant in reverse. Things are being cleared from your path. So if you have felt like you've been like really at, at odds with things, like really 
feeling very lonely, very alone, very confused, very much like, why is nothing working? Why can't I stick to anything? Why can't, why doesn't anything work out for me? That is why things are being cleared out of your life for a reason. The elephant in reverse is a really lovely energy. It means that you may be struggling, but you are getting through it and you are climbing. You are getting there, okay? So I feel like for your group, kind of fluid, You, <laughs> I feel like the, the group that you may be in, some of you guys are a little bit kind of flaky. Um, I feel like a couple of the people in this group, they don't really like to um, set certain things. I'm sensing a lot of air sign in this group, like a lot of air. Um, there's gonna be a couple of people who aren't very reliable, but that may be okay for you. That may be something that you're, you're kind of like not too, intensely dedicated to this group so that may be you know something that you're not too bothered about but if you are somebody who really really wants a group that's very very sustainable I do see that if this ever happens in this group you will kind of chuck them out and kind of attract people who are on your wavelength who really do um, sustain you because I feel like whenever I'm tuning into this group or any other group for this reading it has to be something that's not toxic or confusing it has to be something that's genuine you know okay I feel like this group is going to, there may be one person that you really connect to. I do, I'm sensing like a Leo, Scorpio, Virgo kind of connection here. Like a lot of different types of people. Um, I am sensing like, I'm picking up on like an African descent of some sort. So one of you guys could be from or a descendant from Africa. Um, possibly your parents, possibly you, you know, it depends. Um, that's obviously for some of you guys. I'm also hearing Russia and uh, South Asia. South Asia? That's what they're saying to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a geographer. <laughs> um, so, okay. So I feel like one of you guys is going to be like the mother. As I said, one of you guys is going to be the mother or the father of the group. I am definitely feeling this is like a really strong couple. Like this is a really strong couple. So this could be best friends, but it could also be a partnership as well. Um, and I'm feeling like the stingray is like somebody's going to be really open this is going to be like the water, the water sign of the group. Uh, somebody's going to be very, very open. And there's going to be two air signs that kind of are very like close knit. Doesn't have to be a partnership. When I say like these two people, like it could be various different types of people. It could be like two girlfriends. It could be two, you know, partners. It could be something. It could be a partnership. It could be a friendship. You know, take it as it resonates. This panther here, this kind of makes me feel as if there's somebody who may come into the group that isn't very open and then they become open through this group so it may be they may be a bit jarring to this group because they're kind of settled in their energy and this person kind of comes along and makes kind of makes a bit of a ruckus but it actually enables this person to either awaken this group or to allow this person to open their heart space and blend into this group after all um it could also be that one of these people this could be a past partnership or a past relationship that comes in that kind of brings this one of these people out of the group for a while just to allow them to uh, reset their energy and go through a little bit of shadow work so very specific messages <laughs> oh my god it's crazy i love it okay so let's see what chakra you guys are working on to manifest your soul tribe confidence oh sorry i read that as confidence it's courage and faith and then we also have underneath self-worth and self-esteem. You guys have been feeling quite unworthy of yourself, unworthy of other people. That is going to change. Okay, that's really going to change for you. All right, so courage and faith. Beautiful. I embrace courage and faith and, ad and adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fear of change or of the future. I regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I'm the creator of my own destiny. I embrace the warrior within me and remind myself to be a warrior, not a warrior. I am not a victim. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I'm ready and eager to move forward. So this is very accurate for the uh, collective energy right now. I mean, a lot of us are feeling very unsafe. Our security is being really rattled. So for you guys, I feel like you're really working on allowing this new energy to come into your energy because a lot of you guys have been shaken up by relationships uh, or situations that just made you feel like, like, why the hell should I try? Um, and I feel like you are, you have been very much, oh, there's just a lot of heart chakra stuff going on. Um, it's like the faith and the courage to allow yourself to be vulnerable. That's what I'm hearing. And I feel like that's a really big thing. So just be really, really kind to yourself with that energy. All right, let's see how you're going to meet your tribe. Okay. 
Yeah, definitely. You guys have kind of shaken off a lot of people because you don't want to get close to them, which for some of you, that's a really good thing. But for others, it's allowing allowing your heart to open. Yeah, definitely. There's like this really lovely group coming in and you're like, bitch, no, <laughs> I'm not in the mood. But then you realise that actually it's divine timed and they're meant to be in your life. They're, they're a group that's going to really sustain you and help you. Yeah, one of you guys is going to be a, in a partnership with, with somebody. As I say, it could be somebody you're with already, but I do feel like a lot of you guys is going to be meeting your soul person and then it's going to be your tribe. I feel like I want to do one more card. So maybe it's over. I feel like this is with this Ten of Cups. You come into this connection, uh, first of all, with one person or two people feeling like you have been let down so many times and you can't function um, in any relationship. You want connection, but you're you're very scared of it. And that's OK. That's completely natural, especially if we've been let down a lot. Most likely you guys are going to meet your, your people through some sort of artistic endeavour. Sorry, there's an eyelash on the table. Um, I feel like you guys may meet your group through some sort of artistic endeavour. Art group, um, Comic-Con group. Uh, it could be something to do with nature, walking group. Some sort of group, I feel like. It feels like something you're attracted to with your hobbies. It doesn't feel like anything to do with work. I feel like it's not a pressure of money attached to it. Um, it feels as if there's going to be some sort of ruckus that's going to cause you to remove yourself from uh, work and you may move house and then you you think, OK, I want to I want to like connect to more people. So then you start to find groups that are on your wavelength. So this could be online groups as well. This doesn't this does not have to be physical groups, but I do feel like you are kind of in the wings waiting for this new tribe to come in. I feel like you've been waiting for a very long time. And you have been suffering a lot. You've definitely been feeling like, oh, everything is feeling quite difficult. Um, and you are you are going to manifest your person. You really are. And you are going to feel much more satisfied and happy. You're going to be able to hold these emotions without any judgment of yourself or others. It's going to be perfectly fine, guys. You're going to be so... You're going to be amazed at this connection. I'm actually hearing some of you guys can meet them in about six months. That's for some of you guys. But I would not be surprised if it's six months because it feels quite soon. Like, it doesn't feel like it's too far away. It does feel like a lot of you guys have moved house by the time you meet this this person or tribe as well. So let's get a little bit more information. Let's see how you're going to meet them and what other information wants to come up. All right, we have Leo, uh, Moon, Ninth House. Yeah, for a group, through travel, through something that's like worldly. So Leo is about the fifth house and the fifth house is romance and love. So because we have that in the moon, most likely you're going to feel kind of a little bit like you want to get creative but you're not sure how to so that may be why you start this group or you find this group and as I say it doesn't have to be physically it can be online as well the ninth house is travel it's wisdom it's philosophy it's religion things like that it's ruled by Sag so because we have the ninth house here most likely you're going to have a group where you have worldly views you could be from different parts of the country or the world um, and it does feel like you are all very very different people and but you have one common goal and that's just authentically you know unconditional love really so that's why you're learning to open your heart with the moon energy you could have a leo moon as well where you're you're allowing yourself to you know not feel so insecure about yourself and just allowing yourself to be vulnerable without having need, feeling the need to entertain people or feel the need to just be this person that everyone wants you to be and just being yourself that's kind of what i feel like you the main energy that you're learning right now uh, what's the next thing I was going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to do charms. Okay, so let's have a look at some charms. Uh, let's see what else you guys want to need to know. Let's do this a little bit of a shaky, shaky. I might shake it up and see if any fall out. Okay. And then we'll get a couple more. Oh, my eye's really hurting, like my right eye. Some of you guys might have, maybe having eye problems at the moment, like twitching, um, pain, uh, I'm hearing a cornea. Is that in your eye? I hope it is. <laughs> okay, so we have oh, oh, <laughs> and then we have happiness, green heart. Yeah, definitely uh, going out in nature is going to help you guys. Um, I feel like you just need to be drawn to like allow yourself to be drawn to things you're excited about. Like just even though you think oh, I'm I'm really love dancing, and maybe not I'm too good at, it. maybe I'm not good at it, but that's okay. Maybe try it anyway. You know, maybe it's not the right time yet. But when we are able to kind of be in physical groups, then maybe you're going to be able to have the confidence to do that and you don't have to be a perfect person to manifest love you really don't I'm going to bring you in a little bit as you can see okay so we have Aries we have Cancer uh really nice energies here I just hear like forgiving like you guys are forgiving yourself 
and you're feeling like this group is very forgiving, like they don't judge you on who you are, your skin color, anything like that. They are really like authentic. Okay. L-D-O. Let's get one more. What's this one? Okay, so we have Aries, Cancer, Pisces, relationship and message. So most likely, I feel like you're gonna, you actually might meet a partner on a dating site and that's how you get to connected with, they may be their friends or something like that. It just feels very, it feels very easy. It feels really, really easy. Um, and it feels like there is definitely somebody you're gonna have a relationship with before you meet your group. Yeah, because I feel like you're not too, too much of a fan of unconditional love. Like you can't fully love somebody at the moment because you feel quite closed because you have gone through a lot of trauma. So right now you're learning to open up your heart space and just, I'm hearing one person at a time, like one person at a time. So that is your reading guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you wanna check out my private reading rates or you wanna have a look at my crystal store, I'd really appreciate that. Um, but if not, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Namaste. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful rough rose quartz, unconditional love, all that jazz. All right. So let's get started. Let's see what the main energy is. Oh girl, raccoon. Okay. So this is definitely your energy. Is it their energy? Yes. This may even be your future partner as well. Actually, that's what they're saying because you and this, your future partner is very similar. Um, if this, this could be a current partner who you're already with as well, not a toxic relationship. So if you are in a relationship, it's very back and forth. It's not that. Um, it's very much soul to soul connection. Okay. So the raccoon, this is all about going inwards. This is finding your safe space. Raccoons can feel very, very unsafe. They are quite snarly. I'm hearing they kind of like growl and hiss, you know, whatever the sort of, you know, noise that they make, they're not the sort of the most friendliest animal. This is about your safety. This is about you feeling whole and safe within your body and feeling like you can kind of allow yourself to open up without feeling afraid. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So I do feel like your soul tribe is gonna to come to you when you feel like you can really open yourself up. And the raccoon also represents um, talented, shadowy and in hiding. So with this being shadowy, you guys could be working on your shadows. So when, in, when this is in balance, it says a generous friend, exceptional artist, when out of balance, competitive, starving artists. To bring into balance, make new work. And this is also saying about if you're wearing a mask, like, like a physical, not, not a physical, like an emotional mask, like stopping yourself from being yourself. That's kind of what I'm feeling is, is pulling away that mask, maybe literally, I don't know, um, depending on where we're at in the world. And basically thinking about growing into something more and this is also saying raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved it's saying other times it limits creativity am i who my audience thinks i am so it's basically not allowing other people to change your personality and to just be your authentic self so let's see who you're going to be attracting my lovelies i do feel like you are definitely boosting your confidence right now you've been hurt so many times girl i feel you i really feel you. your heart's really been going through it so if you're getting a lot of chest pain heart palpitations anxiety it may feel like anxiety it may not be anxiety, just letting you guys know, it may just feel like it. Um, it's because your heart chakra is trying to open. It's trying to help you to, to work through a lot of this trauma. So, oh, all right. Let's see who you're manifesting. Okay. Oh, this is some deep connections. This is not just like a, the surface. Oh my God. Okay, you guys really love relationships. You're somebody who loves deep soul connections. You're not somebody who's just like flaky and wants to talk about the weather. You're just like, so, like on the first day of meeting somebody, you're like, so how is your family trauma? Like, do you have a good relationship with your parents? Like, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Even if it's just a friend, I feel like you treat everyone very equally. So I'm seeing four to five people in this group. Uh, you guys have the most people in the group because I feel like you're gonna manifest people who are really deep. So there's gonna be quite a few people who are gonna to gravitate towards this, this certain group of um, people. Okay, the lizard in reverse. This is about taking the heat. I feel like you guys have gone through a lot of different situations where you've really had to grip your toenails into the ground to try and help make yourself like get through a situation. Basically, you know, I'm, I'm actually hearing like, very bad thoughts like i'm gonna be honest like suicidal thoughts some of you guys have actually been feeling like i really don't want to be on this planet anymore it's, it's been really hard some of you guys are just star seeds that just want the good for the planet you could be old souls you could be like earth angels 
and I'm, I'm going to put a um, a link down below for like suicide prevention and things so if you guys are feeling really low um please call that number if you need to okay guys because i do feel like this is a very very deep group i'm not gonna sugarcoat this this is very very deep so i do feel like for some of you guys it's really 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 important for you to support yourself right now because you're going through such a deep evolution it's not even funny like it's just it is so intense so i feel like this is a very strong connection with a lot of fixed signs this feels like female male male female so i am seeing like a connection between a masculine and a feminine so if you guys are a masculine wanting a feminine or so on and so forth um i do see that happening i feel like this is your partner here this is your best friend that's what i'm hearing so this looks like an aquarius energy it doesn't have to be sun sign aquarius it could be rising moon venus but it could be somebody who has aquarian quality so somebody who's just very open um, they don't judge they're non-judgmental your person's very similar to you. So can you see how there's a lot of dark energy? One of you guys is like the one out. One of you doesn't really take stuff too deeply. I feel like one of you is going to be like the positive, the more positive kind of like not so deep person, but the guidance counsellor of the group. Like they're going to help you through a lot of tough times. There's going to be somebody who's almost like a Sagittarius who doesn't take things too deeply, where to the sense they can actually look at things more from a perspective and they don't dra get dragged down by others' emotions, which is good. That's a good trait to have. So your person, if you're waiting for a partnership, uh, or thinking you want a partnership, this is somebody who's waiting for you. So as you can see, both of these are like really deep, really, really deep. Both of you are in the same energy right now. Both of you are going through extreme deep transformation. This is not just like a, a little connection on the side. This is a frigging like long-term relationship right here. So I do feel, uh, I'm getting Virgo. I always get Virgo with this person here, like this animal, because they're always going. They're always on the go all the time. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys get like really strong messages from spirit or you get like, you see a lot of spirits kind of around um, in the corner of your eyes and things. You get a lot of um, kind of messages from spirit, like flickering of lights, uh, Wi-Fi flickering on and off, uh, bugs like little bugs or something like some sort of animal that kind of keeps coming into your 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 house something like that i'm not going to put that out there to you guys if that's like you don't want most people don't want that but i do see that there's like a, definitely a message coming through animals um maybe even just some sort of nature i feel like nature's going to be acting weird around you when you meet your your group because it's basically signaling to you that this is a time to really connect to your heart space and allow this group to come in there's going to be somebody who's very, um, this Aquarius energy, they're quite stubborn, but it's because they, but they're not judgmental. They're somebody who's stubborn because they have very strong views, but they're so spiritual. They're going to kind of help you out of this energy of a rut. Um, and they could be your partner as well. So it could be either one of these is your partner. I'm feeling that best friend partner partner best friend you know take it as it resonates because this feels more of a feminine obviously your friend could be a male too like it doesn't matter but I, i'm feeling more of like a, a feminine friend so it could be a masculine who's very feminine or just a female uh who's very very feminine and just somebody who just really supports your feminine energy so it just feels like feminine masculine obviously i'm talking as a straight female um obviously if you are not that then just take it as it resonates friendship partnership uh of any gender so this octopus, this is somebody who is always on the go. They are constant. These two are very similar. So these could, these two be, these two could be like best friends, and then they could come into the group later on. Um, I feel like these two are met through work. So you could meet these two through some sort of like, like a really strong work connection. So it's not just like, oh, we have this in common. It's like we actually work together. That's how you meet these two. Because these two are more practical. They're more um, earthy. These two are more kind of like uh, get the coin kind of gals <laughs> or guys or gals. These two are more like soul connections. So these two are going to be kind of quite random meetings um, through your spiritual journey. So it could be that you work with them and they could even be one of your counsellors. Uh, it could be that you meet them just randomly on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. It could even be through a friend that you meet this person. It just feels very, very authentic. And I keep looking at the flame. That is so interesting. Like how it's like waving. That's really cool. I don't know if I ever really noticed that. I feel like that's going to be a sign. Like things like that is going to be like quite a big sign that you're going to meet your, your uh, connection. It just feels like things are going to start to move. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, you might meet them around water. I'm picking up on about six months for you guys meeting your soul family. 
uh where is my pile there is <laughs> i was like where's the pile of cards i've lost it okay so let's see what chakra you guys are currently working on what's your main focus at the moment i was gonna say heart chakra throat chakra oh a lot of throat chakra girl we have connection to spirit i develop a quiet mind that allows me to tune in and get in touch with my higher self or my spirit I listen for the guidance that is there waiting for me to hear. I feel like some of you guys are Virgo or you have really strong Virgo in your chart that stops you from being communicative. It almost like says like, oh, don't even bother because they're not going to hear you. Like that's what I feel like you're working on. You're working on just speaking your truth and just speaking and really not caring what people think, which in a healthy way, yeah, do it girl. Like there's nothing wrong with that. I communicate openly and honestly to express my thoughts and feelings clearly. I share my inner knowledge freely without integrity or without fear. I aim to be fully honest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't read that right. My aim is to be fully understood by others. I'm open to giving and receiving praise and will not be careful not to talk excessively and make it all about me. I create space in conversations for others to communicate with me. I inquire about others' thoughts and feelings as listening to their truth can be uplifting. So this is actually really interesting because this is very much like group energy. Um, you're learning to speak your truth. Um, you're learning to be in a group and speak about how you really feel and allow yourself to be heard, but also to allow yourself to listen to others. Because especially if you're somebody who has anxiety, you may kind of skip over what somebody else is saying, not even on purpose. You may just kind of skip over it because you're trying to think of the next thing you're going to say. This is the group where you don't even have to do that. You're, I don't still feel like you're going to do that. You're just going to be like, you know, I'm weird. And they're going to be like, I'm weird. And you'll be like, cool, let's, let's be in a group together. Like pinky promise, pinky promise. We're both going to be weird together. You know, it's that kind of energy. Okay. So we have the nine of pentacles, judgment, temperance. Okay. Patience. You guys are learning patience with attracting your group of friends um wow yeah you guys have been through it you guys can be quite impatient you're learning for patience you're learning to trust the universe trust this authentic path that you're going on okay let's see what this is here all right so it feels like you're going to let go of something you're going to let go of any um kind of holding holding on to needing control all the time that's what you're going to let go of. And obviously we, we don't always let go of it fully, but part of your soul is going to be able to let go of it, like a subconscious pattern that you have to know everything of what everyone's thinking all the time. You may be a Scorpio as well, very Scorpionic energy or Capricorn, needing control a lot of the time. And then when you do that, there's going to be a tower moment. You're going to realize what's going on with you and your energy. And then you're going to attract some authentic people, like really genuine connections that are really on your wavelength, who just really suit you. They're, they're part of your journey. And it may take a little bit of time to warm up to them because I do feel like, because you may be meeting your best friend or your partner first, um, obviously depending if you're in a relationship or not, I feel like it's gonna take a little bit of time to open up to them. I definitely feel like because you feel the need to change yourself for others, and this may be like a subconscious pattern, you may not realize that you're doing it. Um, but part of you is like, you know what, I'm just gonna let myself go. And I feel like when you do that, Oh, girl, there's going to be a massive weight that's going to be lifted off of you and you're going to start to feel much more free because right now I feel like there's a lacking in creativity because you're feeling like you can't be yourself. You have to push and force and just strain and just not allow yourself to be human. And you are, you are a beautiful human and being human is being vulnerable and that is a beautiful thing. So when you work, work through these energies, you will manifest your group of friends, the Three of Cups, which is lovely. Let's get you one more card. Queen of Swords, yeah, speaking your truth, allowing yourself to be heard and um, just having an opinion, basically, like allowing yourself to have an opinion. And even if you are like a mediator, like you're not really on either side, you can still have an opinion too, you know? It doesn't mean that you're not allowed to speak your truth, okay? All right, so let's get a little bit more detail. Let's see who this group is, how you're gonna meet them. How is group number three gonna meet their tribe? All right, so we have uh, Saturn, we have seventh house and we have Gemini. So Saturn is not my favorite planet. He's the one that basically says you've got to go through this because uh, nothing's going to happen unless you do. So <laughs> uh, you may have met a lot of Geminis in your past that have taught you to rely on yourself. These have been very flighty people and I'm not saying all Geminis are, are like this, but a lot of the people that you have met 
who have those kind of qualities, they have treated you really badly. Um, they've basically told you that, you know, I, one day I love you, next minute they're gone, and then they come back again, and then they're gone. You're really learning to just whip, like hold your energy. Like if you have been let down lots of times, you're learning to hold your energy and to focus and rely on yourself. And that is what Saturn is doing. I feel like you could be going for a Saturn returning your relationships. We have the seventh house. Saturn is the planet that basically says you have to go through this. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to essentially have what's meant for your soul. Obviously, you can still manifest stuff, but it's not going to be the most authentic. Like, you have to do the work here. Um, that's what you're doing in your relationships. You're doing the work. Um, can we get a little, another message here? I just want to see what else that is. Okay. Yeah, it's learned to be um, like authentic and learn to be sexual and intellectual and allowing your thoughts to be heard. Like being unique and allowing yourself to be different and not to blend in. Because Aquariuses don't blend in. Like they are, they love to be different. And even if they are the same and they, and they look the same as everyone else, they want to be, they want to think they're different. So that's the energy here. And just having authentic truth, like allowing yourself to be <clears throat> authentic and <clears throat> wow throat chakra okay so let's get some charms i pulled you in closer so you could see the charms because sometimes it's a little bit far away and i can't always tell so let's shake this up a little bit i want this one i really like this one here oh that's cute we have happiness we have D and Z. These could be people's names. It could be towns. Okay, let's get some more. I'm hearing them like Doris and D, like D E E. Uh, a Catherine, Katie. I'm hearing the word collaboration as well. Okay, we have Cancer. We have Green Heart. All the groups have been getting Green Heart. I love that. So a lot of you guys are really working on opening your heart chakra. Yeah, definitely. My heart chakra is really going through it right now. Some of you guys, I feel like these people will come to your uh, wedding. If you guys want to get married, these people will come to your wedding. I'm trying to pick up the... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to pick up the star signs at the bottom. Okay. Oops. Capricorn. This could be their moon signs, their star signs, Libra. Let's get one more. Okay, it's hard. They're all at the bottom, sorry guys. Okay, Pisces, lovely. So that is your reading guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like a private reading or you wanna check out my crystal shot, all the information is down below. Have, have a lovely day. Namaste and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the Tourmalated Quartz. I love Tourmalated Quartz. It's one of my faves. It's a really good crystal for shadow work and yin yang energy. It kind of just allows you to break through barriers that you're feeling and just feel much more clearer and able to access your, your subconscious. Okay, beautiful. I mean, that, that literally just clarifies everything I just said. <laughs> This is this transformational energy, like deep shadow work. You guys are really working on expanding yourself, um, allowing yourself to be authentic, to be free, to have opinions and really express them. And I'm just hearing maturing. So you guys could actually be literally very random, but going through puberty, uh, going through the menopause, going through an awakening, going for a spiritual awakening, all that jazz. So that's kind of what I'm feeling for you guys at the moment. It feels, it feels intense. It just feels like a different kind of energy that you've been through. It feels really like big and strong and like, you can't ignore it you really cannot ignore this okay so let's have a look and see who you're attracting hmm i was picking up on like an older group i'm picking up on like uh, those of you in your 50s um picking up on that at the moment but obviously just take it as it resonates everyone's going to be a different age group so that's for some of you Okay, I'm picking up on a soul here, but I'm not sure if I want to pull. Let's, let's pull one more. Okay, there we go. That's why. Okay, so one person in the group is um, not actually manifested yet. So for some reason, they may be like really, really young and they may, they may not even been born yet. So you may actually have a, 
like quite a young soul coming into your group. I'm not sure what this is. It could even be your, it actually could be your own child. That's a really interesting message. I love that. It could be your younger sister, younger brother. Um, it could be a niece, nephew. This, this person hasn't been born yet. <laughs> That's so weird. I love it. Oh my God. Okay. So this person, they're over here. So they haven't, they actually haven't come onto the earth plane yet. Love that. Okay. So this looks like an old soul group. So if you guys are not like in your fifties or you know, if you're younger than that, just you're old, you're an old soul. I feel like you're a really old soul. You guys have been on this planet before. You've done this before. You have been here a long time. This cosmic egg is going to really connect to this one here. So this could be the mother of this, this person here. Um, so what I'm seeing is everyone has got different, something different to give to the group. So everyone has got something different. I feel that it's not a partnership here. So if you guys, you could be, have been already in a relationship or if you are single, I do see there is going to be somebody coming in, but they're going to be separate from your friendship group and then they're going to add on later. So that may even be this person here. Maybe the relationship hasn't even formed yet. So take it as it resonates. I do see there is some sort of relationship happening, but it may not get off the ground. Um, it may be that they're just a friend and then you meet somebody else later on. Um, I see this being like... I'm hearing like quite later on, like you think you're going to manifest it early on in your life and then you manifest this group like a little bit later on. So I don't see you guys meeting this group in your teens. I don't see that. So some of you who are wanting that, uh, I'm not seeing that. I feel like 20 onwards is this group. Um, obviously, if you are in your teens, doesn't mean you're not going to meet any good friends. I genuinely see you do meeting good friends. Do, do meeting that doesn't not make any sense. You are going to meet groups of friends, but they're not going to be, I don't feel super long term because if you want somebody who is super authentic with no toxic energy, I don't see them being in their teens. That's what I'm hearing. No, no offense to any teenagers out there, guys. Like I just feel like as an old soul myself, it take it does, it can take a while to manifest those people because it's your journey. It depends on what you're going through. Obviously take it as it resonates. This is a general reading. So you're transforming. That's why you haven't met your, your group yet. Um, you're going to meet people who are all walks of life. So this is going to be somebody who I'm picking up. This person has really big hair, like Sag, Leo, maybe even Pisces. They have very big hair, uh, big brown hair, big, like, yeah, brown hair, like brown or black hair, like frizzy, curly. It feels, um, it feels kind of, uh, Italian descent. So they may be from Italy. They may have Italian parents. They may have an Italian grandma, something like that. Their hair is just very Italian. <laughs> um, that's what I'm seeing. Obviously not every Italian is like that, but very generic is what I'm hearing. Like very generic, could even be Spanish, uh, just very big hair. I have no idea where I'm from. I have, I have curly hair. I have no idea where I get my hair from, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's definitely not British. That's for sure. Um, it could even be um, Scottish as well, actually. But I am hearing more I actually Irish. Okay, I'm getting lots of different countries now, guys. Okay, so I'm feeling like one of you guys is going to be super, super deep. One of you is going to be a Scorpio. Uh, you guys, one of you sees really the depths of everything. So one of you has been through a lot. One of you is quite quiet, but you see everything. Like you see everything that, they, that people are talking about. So when someone's talking, you're not even really seeing what they're saying. You're seeing what's underneath what they're saying. So the, the one of you is probably uh, going to be some sort of counsellor, uh, some sort of person who works with shadow work, somebody who works with spirits, a clearing house of spirits, something like that. Um, one of you is most likely going to be into intergalactic energy, star seeds, something like that. And then the other one's going to be more earthy. One of you is going to be more practical. And uh, I'm actually hearing a firefighter. One of you could be a firefighter or uh, more of like, um, like a generic job. So something like, I feel like it feels like on the force. So it could be a policewoman, policeman, uh, it could be a somebody who works in A and E, someone in an ambulance. Uh, it could be a nurse, doctor, something like that. One of you definitely has got that type of job. Um, one of you earns quite a lot of money. It can even be a solicitor as well. Uh, somebody who's constantly working all the time, and it, it feels like you are. This person has waited for a group like this for a very long time, and it helps them to feel like they are. Uh, having more balance in their life because they're they are working on the physical like manifesting money and things but they also have that really lovely spiritual group they can go to to talk about you know well spiritual things <laughs> okay I feel like one of you guys is really into crystals 
um, one of you has like is like the crystal queen of this group. One, I think I think it's you who's watching this video. Uh, crystal, absolute crystal queen. You love crystals. Um, you love collecting things. You're probably a Libra or, or a Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, something like that. Taurus. You love like things that are really pretty. So like nail polishes, beauty. Uh, love getting your eyelashes done. Stuff like that. It's like you and you love collecting things. You may collect things that are really odd that people think that's a bit strange, but. In this group, they're like, girl, that's normal. <laughs> that is normal. You want to you collect your friggin' fingernails? Girl, do that. <laughs> you know, non-judgmental here. Um, yeah, and if any of you guys know who Simply Nail Logical is, who she collects peelies from her nails. I love her. She's amazing. <laughs> I love her. She's got such a good energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It's like you like collect stuff that's really kind of unusual. Um, it may even be you're really into Comic-Con and you collect maybe helmets or wigs or something like that. It feels really interesting. Like I, I'm, I'm very fascinated by that. Um, I love that. So let's see what chakra you guys are working on right now um, and kind of how you're going to attract your tribe. I'm hearing you all live under one roof, so you may even be roommates, something like that. Okay, so similar to group number three, you guys got throat chakra, but a different type. We have, I set clear boundaries for my own behavior and I cultivate a strong will by being true to myself. This is willpower and determination. So you guys have gone through so much stuff recently and you're just like, ugh, I've had enough, I'm done. <laughs> this is that energy, okay? I use my willpower to accomplish my daily tasks and spiritual goals and to encourage uplifting thoughts and behaviors in myself. Doing this will assist me on the next stage of my physical, emotional, mental and spiritual growth. I stay in touch with my positive thoughts and truth by avoiding substance abuse. My mind is strong, my mind is clear. Some of you guys may have gone for addictions, uh, overeating, alcoholism, you may have gone to like an Alcoholics Anonymous, something like that where you can feel like you can really speak your truth. You may even meet one of your soul tribe in Alcoholics Anonymous. You just, you know, you know, the uh, our soul path really does lead us onto interesting journeys sometimes, so. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I do feel like you're going to meet somebody through um, like some sort of way you can openly speak about things. So it could be a group at school, at college, university. It could be uh, you meet them through, you know, maybe having counselling in common. It just feels very, um, very in-depth. Oh, I love that. Some of you guys are really going to be, you're not going to be single for very long. You're really not going to be single for very long. Okay. This feels good. This feels like you may actually, you, some of you guys may actually meet through drinking, you may meet this person at a pub. It feels like you're going to be at like a party or some sort of group gathering and then you're drinking the same drink and you're like, oh, what are you drinking, girl? And it's something like that. It could even be through alcoholism or coming away from alcoholism, something like that. But like both of you have a common goal that you want to sort that you want to sort and work through. Yeah, definitely. Some of you guys are working through addictions right now. Uh, could even be sex addiction, something like that. Um, porn addiction. Very deep stuff. But it feels as if that you're meant to go through this so you can meet your soul trap. Because I'm hearing it's not worth it. If you're not going to go through all this stuff, why would it be worth it? You know, it has to be worth it to have a connection this deep. Like this isn't just talking about the weather, this is something that's just, is completely your energy. Like this is a, a tribe that's gonna completely suit you and they're gonna support you in everything you do. And they've gone through very similar things to you. So they're gonna be completely understanding and you definitely will meet a partner very soon, I feel, from this group. Picking up on about five months for you guys. Uh, some of you guys, especially if you're a fire sign, meet another fire sign. Um, I just see that you're gonna come out of the darkness. You're gonna, it's gonna feel much clearer when you meet your person or your group because you're basically going to realize um, and go through the dark. I feel like you're going to go for a shadow work, shadow work, shadow kind of spiritual awakening. And then that's when you meet them. It feels like you're crossing a threshold. You're crossing a, crossing a barrier. I'm hearing in about two months, this is going to start to feel a little bit less heavy um, and you're going to start to feel a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, depending on when you're watching this, this is completely timeless. So uh, just take it as it resonates on when you're watching this. So let's see, how are you going to meet your group? I'm just seeing you meeting at your house. Like I see it's being quite a cosy group. Um, it feels as if you guys love to just do things that are quite personal. So this is you, yeah, just being, 
being authentic to yourself. Uh, some of you guys really like cozy stuff. So you could be a Cancerian, Taurus, water sign. It could be a Pisces. We have Jupiter and Pisces 12th house. So yeah, literally so many of you are going to go through shadow work and a spiritual awakening. And then it's going to open you up to this new soul group. So you, so, okay, I'm sorry guys, you have to go through this shit to get to the other side. And at, at the end of the day, a lot of us are going through this anyway. It's, it's the external as well. It's reflecting in our external so when we go through this, your life is going to expand. It really is. Like we have Jupiter as well. So your life is honestly, it's going to expand and you're going to start to feel like you can be open to new adventures. And there's going to be more, there's going to be more um, opportunities as well. Okay, let's get some extra info. Yeah, abundance. That's definitely Jupiter energy. Jupiter is all about expansion and things like that. Okay. Pisces. Yeah, love that. Love that clarification. Thank you for that. Capricorn. We have S. Ooh, some of you guys are going to get married. Hi. These people are going to be in your at your wedding. I'm hearing 51st dates. I don't know if that's clarification for any of you guys, but... Okay, we have the letter T. Truth, yeah, happiness, yeah. Through this truth, um, yeah, I feel like I'm hearing someone's holding the key. Like, I feel like you're going to, for those of you who want a relationship or are gonna, or in a relationship right now, I feel like you're gonna be moving house um, quite early on in the relationship and you're going to uh, be living together quite soon. I'm hearing for some of you guys who are wanting to uh, have one step up in your relationship. I feel like some of you guys are going to be moving in with your person very soon, okay? If you're already with someone. So we have Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, and we have relationship. Yeah, relationships are really important with this group. I feel like like partnerships, um, and I, I'm picking up on this as well as message. So some of you guys are going to get a lot of messages from this group. I feel like you're going to have a, a, um, a group chat on like whatsapp or instagram or something like that maybe not whatsapp that's a bit dodgy but um <laughs> with the terms and conditions right now that's the t but yeah i feel like it's it's very very open communication and all of you are really talking about how you really feel so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like a private reading all the information is down below if you would like to check out my crystal shop that is down below also thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye